This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, it's been raining for two days. The water has probably cooled down a bit, but I'm still out here to try and catch a fish. So let's see what happens. Today I'm going to be using lures from this random bag of stuff someone sent into the show. Craws and creature baits. Let's pick one out of here. All right, this is the one I'm going with. This is a Yum Christy Craw, black and blue. We got a 3 16 ounce worm weight. Let's see if we can find a fish. This water's pretty high. Like I said, it's been raining. I hear cows mooing. If I can't get a bite on this, I got a few other ones to try. Look like some brush hogs in there, maybe some net baits pack across. Anyway, let's just get started. The water right up along the bank here looks pretty clear, but out there looks pretty murky. I would say I got about a foot and a half of visibility, which ain't too bad. Now I just need to find some fish. Saw a little shad pop right there in front of me. Just because you see a shad, though, does not mean that there are big fish around. There are shad everywhere in this lake. Is that a bite? Fish. There we go. There we go. Yeah, nice little bass. Cool. There we go. Look at this guy. All right, getting close to a pound maybe. Got a really big tail for how small he is. That's gonna make him fast. Good looking fish here. Got him on that yum Christy craw that someone sent into the show. Right, just a bunch of loose plastics in a bag. Hey, they work. Let's let them go. Nice. All right, that's one for the black and blue craw. Let's keep going. Gonna stay a little bit back from the shore for these first couple of casts, just in case there's something over here. Don't wanna scare it away right away. That's a fish. Oh, a tiny little nibble right down here in the front. I didn't realize I was so close to the bank. That makes me think it's a panfish and not a bass. I still haven't even seen one spawning fish yet. And we're already in May. 
you just never know. It pretty much depends on the weather. But over the last few trips, I have got some young bass, some young male bass. All about the same size as that last one. Three quarters of a pound to a pound, somewhere in there. Which means they're starting to wake up. Wow, look at this dead catfish carcass. Damn it, there's another one in the water. See it right there? Disgusting. Someone was over here. They cleaned their catfish, then threw the carcasses into the water. Looks like uh, the vultures picked that one out of the water. I see another catfish carcass. That's three disgusting catfish carcasses floating, rotten in the water. So trashy and disgusting. Those things just sit in the shallow water and rot. Nothing. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go try one more spot. The spot from my last video. I found one bass over there last time. Let's see what it looks like today. All right, we're here. Last spot I'm gonna try for today. It has really been trashed since the last time I was here, which was just a few days ago. Wow. Anyway, let's see if we can get a bite. We're gonna fish this opening right here, and then I'm gonna pitch into the different spots along the bank here. We'll see. All right, let's try pitching into some of this cover, see if there's a fish. I gotta bury my hook point a little bit better. There we go. fish. Oh, damn it. I had one. I had a bite down there. Got kind of hung on whatever those sticks are down there and I lost them. Let's see if I can sidearm something out here. There we go. The fishing is starting to improve slightly. I got one bass at that first spot. And I had a bite over here. I almost had two fish, which is still better than my last outing where I only had one. And I don't think I had any other bites. Anyway, let's go back to the studio and pick a winner for the third times a charm giveaway. Hopefully someone will claim it this time. All right, here we are back in the studio to pick a winner for the third times a charm giveaway. I really hope someone claims it this time. All right, the video we're gonna pick the winner from is called Bass Fishing with a Texas Rig and Powerbait Pit Boss. Loading the comments, 1,195. Look at it go. Here we are. We're going to randomly pick a winner. Good luck to everyone and make sure you claim it this time. The winner is Dan Baker. So envious. UK lockdown means no fishing. All right, Dan, 
This is your lucky day. If you want this, I will even ship it to the UK. So Dan Baker, you need to get a hold of me. Realisticfishing at gmail.com. You can hit me up on Instagram or even on Facebook and get me that shipping information. Sometimes it's a pain in the ass shipping to the UK, but I will try it. I can't really guarantee it'll get there or get there in a timely fashion because, you know, I've dealt with it before and it's kind of a pain, but I will try. So, Dan Baker, you need to get a hold of me and claim this. Third time's a charm giveaway. On another note, the bass fishing is getting a little better. I caught one bass today on the Yum Christy Craw, which was sent into the show, and I have a feeling the fishing will only get better. More fish, bigger fish, at least I hope so. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.